You know, though they took some liberties in this film, especially with the main character played by Viola Davis, you have to wonder, was it worth it? Uh, let's talk about that. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Movie Emporium's movie review of The Woman King, the newest film from director Gina Prince Blythewood. So taking place in the 1800s in West Africa, The Woman King is the story of the Agoji uh, warriors. They're a group of African American women who basically were trained ever since they were very young to basically be the top skilled kind of, uh, I would say mercenaries in a lot of respects for their kingdom of Domi, which is actually run by a uh, king who of course is played by John Boyega in this movie. And and they basically are very good at what they do, but they are unfortunately under the guise of these very, you know, uh, very powerful mercenary men who basically have control of the, the land and they kind of have the, the king under their thumb and stuff like that. And under the guise of a character who's played by Viola Davis, who of course plays Zanonsky, uh, she, with the help of, you know, her commanders, because she's the general, as well as some new, new recruits who, of course, we have one character in Nuwani, who of course is our main eyes and ears for this entire film outside of some other characters but basically the story is an action adventure kind of look into the world of the agoji tribe and just kind of how they operate it and how they kind of you know excelled upon the situation at hand while dealing with some uh, personal issues and situations that they had to deal with when it came to the slave traders and when it came to like you know the, their place in the world and just how they have to deal with the mercenaries that they kind of uh, are having to deal with in the you know very kind of unfortunate violent situation uh, but basically it's you know that type of movie it's you know very much just an experience about what this world is like and these people that kind of rose up to the occasion. So we have to talk about the elephant in the room first before I get into my actual thoughts of this movie. Uh, this movie has uh, been put under some coals and some fires recently and is not all for good purposes. And what I mean by that is there has been some stuff pointed out about the inaccuracies of what the uh, uh, jo uh, Gobi or Goji tribe and the uh, Dihomi kingdom of Dahomey and all that stuff the fact that you know the Yonsky's character the Viola Davis character is not real the fact that the slave trader stuff is being accused of not being prevalent which I think it is actually pretty prevalent in this and the kind of way they want to move, move past it there's just a lot of things out there that you'll start to see especially if you like see certain subsets of individuals that I think are pushing a narrative that are making it a lot worse than it really is because you know after you watch this movie it really Really isn't as bad as they're kind of making it out to be it's just one of those things unfortunately it's leading to a little bit of misogyny unfortunately but i have to say that before i get into my review because i went into this movie not on the fact of anything i actually didn't know anything about this until i started reading it like you know at the, uh, the week of this release for this film september is usually not a very good month for movies so i was kind of worried that this movie would play kind of sappy and a little a little boring to be fairly honest it's just kind of you know how september is i didn't think the trailer looked that great to be fairly honest uh but the reviews came out and everybody's like oscar buzz for viola davis this movie is amazing it has great action by gina you know gina uh blythewood and stuff like that and just i was like okay cool you know i'll go see this i was gonna see this earlier but unfortunately things happened where i couldn't do it so i'm seeing this the day of the release but with that said you know uh, going into a movie like this not really expecting much i gotta say it's sometimes that's a good thing sometimes that's a pleasant surprise because this movie is definitely a pleasant surprise it's actually quite awesome to be fairly honest because it's a movie that not only has some really kind of um, deep messages it has some really potent messages about the world that is you know back in the day and how you know women can actually rise above the above the you know their state in life and they can actually can be very powerful and how there is actually a tribe out there or a, a warriors out there that are actually you know were these types of people i think that is a really great message it really shows hope for you know young girls or you know young women who just are always put down that there is something out there that could be you know, to help them kind of move past the situation because it is a very, you know, one-sided world in a lot of respects. But getting away from that, this is a movie that just has a lot of style to it. It has a lot of bravado to it. It has a lot of just passion behind the director and the cast. It feels like a movie that has a lot of love put into it. And you really see it on every inch of the screen that shows from the visual effects to the set pieces, to the costuming, to the music, to the cinematography, to the, the direction and the way everything's kind of placed out. It is a little traditional 
traditional in a lot of respects, but I think that actually helps the movie because it allows the movie to be not only very relatable to you know certain subsets of culture, but it also allows the movie to work pretty seamlessly and pretty easily where you can actually go in just enjoy it for an action flick and not even have to worry but you can also go in with you know learning the messages and learning about the characters and i think that's what makes this movie really stand out it's one of those movies that really caught me by surprise because once again september is known for a dumping ground and i think 2022 has shown that there is a lot of great films out there that are just coming out in just the weird parts of the you know of the year you know you see stuff released in february or you really see stuff released in september and there's really at this point there's no down point there's going to be like a slow month or something like that or slow day when it comes to qualities of film this actually proves once again why it doesn't really matter anymore and that's just so great but once again the cast is fantastic in this movie uh we have to give it up to viola davis who is definitely giving an oscar worthy performance i think she's absolutely fantastic the kind of level of depthness she goes to and just the, her the stuff that she starts revealing as the movie moves along really gives her a sense of purpose really gives her so much kind of layers when it comes to her character that it really feels like a really fleshed out character and what's even crazier is she's not you know even though this group of you know women women warriors the uh, goji tribe are real she isn't and yet it feels like she's part of this world i guess you could say it feels like she's just really in it and just really just kind of the leader and everybody respects her and i just found myself really just kind of impacted by that i felt really kind of uh it felt like a fresh a breath of fresh air or something like that and she's just it once again proves that Viola Davis is just fantastic at what she does. But like I said, the other actresses in this movie are fantastic. Like I said, uh, Lashana Lynch is in this movie. She's pretty great. And just, there is a sense of chemistry and camaraderie, uh, camaraderie, I guess you could say, that fits in this movie that never feels out of place or stale. There is some moments, I will say, that involve a couple slave traders, slave traders that I feel could have been kind of excised from the movie to maybe cut it down by five minutes or so. But it is not like the worst thing in the world. But I think when you focus on, you know, that aspect and it feels a little too kind of thrust in there to the movie, it, it, it can be a little kind of cumbersome. But like I said, it doesn't take my it doesn't take the impact away from what this movie is doing and how really kind of great it is in the long run. So with that said, it just it's a movie I highly recommend. It's also a movie that kind of hit me close to kind of just uh, when it comes to the messages it has. You know, like I said, it is definitely dealing with, you know, the racism aspect, the idea of just how bad the situation was for them yes it, it won't go as far as some people are claiming it will but i think it does just enough that it does set itself apart and it allows these group of individuals to kind of shine in their moments when they have the action set pieces and on top of that it's the violence is actually warranted for what they're doing so i really love that as well so but in the end really enjoyed this movie really definitely recommend it i think it's something that you know if you go in with you know a, a set of expectations when it comes to you know what this movie is trying to represent what it does if you go in for the action i think you'll really enjoy it and i think in the end it's a clear winner for not only viola davis but it, the kind of world that's presenting it. and i actually give him a lot of credit it definitely does what it needs to do so uh yeah Definitely highly recommend it. Definitely give it a watch if you uh, are interested. So there you go. That is my take on The Woman King. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, comments below. If you've seen this movie, tell me what you think overall. All that good stuff. But if you like what you see on this channel, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell. Top the phone is coming next. If you like this video, awesome. Hit that like button as always. We'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.